Hey, it's Diane from DianeHockman.com. I want to talk social media with you guys today. You know, I've been an avid, avid, avid social media fan since it all began back, uh, you know, with the advent of blogs and stuff. I started to recognize how powerful it was going to be. And in fact, you can hear me doing some rants back in 2007. I should put them up just for nostalgia's sake about uh, what was coming uh, because everything I said that was coming uh, and more came to fruition. I mean, just a couple of years ago, nobody could have imagined um, how powerful social media would become in our lives. And now with the advent of smartphones, um, everybody's walking around with it in, in their pocket. So it's going to become more and more and more powerful influence on us. And if you are in business, this is an extremely um, powerful thing that you can be using to build your business. And it also can just absolutely make you look like a total fool. So I want to talk about today, uh, the question is, should I automate my social media campaigns? Um, it, this stuff never ceases to amaze me. Now, I always say this, I put in a disclaimer, this is my opinion, this is my personal opinion uh, of somebody who's done very well with social media, built a great business, using a lot of social media over the last several years, I consider myself fairly well versed. Am I the top expert in the field? No, I'm absolutely not. Um, I am what I am as a very opinionated, passionate social media zealot. <laughs> Um, and um, I think that uh, the closest zealot that I can find the most kindred spirit is Gary Vaynerchuk. If you haven't met him, he wrote the best-selling book, Crush It. You can find him on Twitter at Gary V, G-A-R-Y-V-E-E, -E, at Gary V. And Gary is one of the top uh, you know, branding consultants out there on the face of the earth now. And he did it all from his little, uh, his father's wine store, which was a liquor store, wine store. He rebranded it uh, from New Jersey. And the next thing you know, this guy was everywhere. And now he's just uh, huge. And both of us, I think, our opinions are, are very strong and very similar. And every time I watch one of Gary's videos, I just want to jump up and down and cheer. Um, guys, when you are working on your business, okay, your business relies on the people. And the people passing around information on what you do, passing your content, talking about you, sharing, you know, their their testimonials, their comments, their results. I don't care whether you're a big internet marketer or whether you're Sally from the hair salon. Um, more and more and more and more and more people are passing information on social media, talking about your business on social media, media or even worse, not talking about your business on social media. And the question is, should I automate my social media campaign? Should I put in all these auto-response things? Um, you know, the answer in my book is absolutely not. Okay. Um, now, can you do things that will help take a post that you put in one place and it will proliferate it to a couple other places so that you can be kind of talking in more than one place? Absolutely if it's real time. But do I think you should automate, like if somebody follows you on a site, should you have an instant standard response that goes back to everybody who follows you with some cheesy thing in a link? Uh, no, I don't. Um, do I think that you should send the same response to everybody who likes your fan page on Facebook? No, I don't. And here's why. First of all, this is my biggest mantra in my marketing trainings, and it seems so simple, yet it's so profound. People are not stupid. Okay, People are not stupid, and they know what is real, and they know what is fake. They know what is authentic, and they know what is a commercial. They know what was written to them and what was written to a mass. And in fact, if you don't know how to write for social media properly, you tip that off instantly. You let them know that it's just a computer talking to them. Now, let me ask you a question. When you call up the phone company, the cable company, wherever, and you get one of those computerized answering systems, how do you feel? Especially when you're frustrated or you're looking for help or you're looking to buy something and so on you're generally not real happy with the fact that a computer is talking to you. And yet, so many people want to take their business and quote-unquote automate it, so that I'm making quote marks with my fingers, so that they're doing exactly 
the thing that you hate to have done to you, you're doing that to your customers, prospects, and clients. You're automating them, and you're basically dismissing them as a number. Social media is just that. The reason why it's called social media is because it's social. And if we want to build relationships with people that will end up paying us thousands of dollars over the course of our business relationship with them. And I don't care if you're like Gary and you own a wine store, because let's face it, somebody who comes in and buys, buys a, a nice bottle of wine every week for four weeks uh, you know, a month for, you know, 52 weeks a year. That's a, that's a great customer. You want that customer. There's that value there. Or whether it's somebody who's going to buy a huge big ticket coaching program for you or consulting or sign up in your business opportunity or whatever you have going on. You gotta understand the value of these people. And the value of these people is worth saying hello to them personally and not automating everything. If you automate your response to people, if you automate things that you send out, if you automate all this stuff and it's just a computer doing this stuff, everybody knows that. And they're instantly going to go to where it's more personal, where they can feel that somebody is there. Now, I, you know, some people think I'm crazy um, and have told me I'm crazy over the years because I try and sometimes I can't because it just gets too crazy. But I try to respond to everybody that writes to me on any of the platforms. I try to get back with them. I try to do my best to respond on my blog and on Twitter and on Facebook and all this other stuff. And I dare say that the large percentage of my business comes from those interactions and those referrals. So I try. Are there a couple little things that I automate that I don't think are detrimental or don't make people feel crummy like I mentioned earlier? Yes. But anything that is um, personal I just wouldn't do it and I wouldn't try to set up all these tools that you think is making your life easier but what it's really doing is pulling the exact people you want to meet further away from you your success whether you're a pizzeria in the neighborhood or whether you're a corporation lies in touching and hand handing, you know, hand holding with the people that are your customers. Um, I recently had an experience um, where I had a very bad thing happen with a gift I had ordered for the holidays, and I was so mad at a company uh, who, four days before Christmas, let me know that the gift that I was getting for my children wasn't available, and I couldn't get through to them on the phone. Um, I ended up uh, contacting them on Twitter. Now, what was really neat and thankful is that they had an actual human being responding on Twitter. Um, and I was able to get some help, and it all worked out. Um, but I was ready to unleash, because I have thousands and thousands of followers. I was ready to unleash a campaign against this company. They were ruining my Christmas. And I have a lot of followers and people that would have all screamed with me. I was getting ready to unleash but luckily, they didn't have an auto response. They had a human being. And that human being made me feel important and better. And things worked out. And we got it taken care of. So do you want to have a computer dealing with your potential customers and your name and your brand? Or do you want to have a human? And depending on the size of your business, don't you want you or somebody who's close to you to be that human. If you're a corporation, you're going to have a department. You're going to train them to how to handle people properly. If you're a small business, it's you or maybe your wife or maybe, you know, one of your kids or maybe, a, you know, one of your employees, your receptionist or your <clears throat> assistant or something. But really think twice about automation and social media and really think twice about how the interface between you and your people is. Guys, for more information on training, home businesses, I deal with small businesses as well, social media branding, positioning, uh, all that stuff, visit dianehockman.com, put in your name and email, and uh, let me send you out great stuff, great tips, um, and you know, certainly let me know how I can help you in your business. We'll talk soon. 